morning across America as the late President George H.W. Bush is honored by presidents past and present in the nation's capital later this morning. Christina Laurie joins us now with more on how leaders, including Governor Walker and Wisconsin senators and representatives, are paying their respects to Mr. Bush today. Hi, Christina. Good morning, Good morning. Leah and Danica. Now, amidst all the chaos happening here at the Wisconsin State Capitol, as Josh said, Governor Walker is among the politicians making the trip to the nation's capital today to honor the late President George H.W. Bush. The attendance list as a whole serves as a bipartisan mix of former and current heads of state. Bush's funeral will mark the first time that President Donald Trump is in the same room as former presidents Obama, Bush, Clinton, and Carter. President uh, Prince Charles, rather, and German Chancellor Angela Merkel are among the world leaders planning to make the trip to Washington. Now, after the service, Bush's body will be flown back to his hometown of Houston, where a second memorial service will be held tomorrow. Bush will then be brought by train to his presidential library, where he will be buried alongside his wife, Barbara, and their daughter, Robin. And there's a unique push happening by businesses across the country to honor the late president on this national day of mourning. They're participating in what's being called Crazy Sock and Broccoli Band Day. It's a nod to Bush's well-publicized love of fun socks and his well-known hatred of the green vegetable. You know, this president's going to be remembered for a lot of things, particularly lo lots of foreign successes, but I love this really personal remembrance. Yeah. A champion for children everywhere who don't <laughs> want to eat their vegetables. He banned them from being served at the White House. I love that. I can get behind that kind of proposal. All right, Christina Laurie reporting for us. Thank you, Christina.